hey, 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 is it that time again? Yes, it is. Hey, hey. Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to a ah, Candid with Cat. You know, the thing about filming these videos is that I have to film them on a Friday because a Friday is the only time I allow myself to be here within during Casabeta. How are you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's another video. This session of Candid with Cat was inspired by a conversation that I was having with my friend, one of my friends, where she's married and I'm not. And we were talking about just lockdown and how lockdown has treated our relationships and all of that and how we've been managing and all of that. And all of that. <laughs> how we've been managing and all of that. So that actually inspired this video where I was like, you know, how is everyone in terms of mjolo or no mjolo or, or just even married, not married, whatever it is. How are you? Where is your status? Where is your relationship status? Because if you ask me, Ndolo is like literally where your relationship goes to die during lockdown. <laughs> like... I had, a, I had a conversation with my partner about the fact that I'm going to film this video and he said no it's fine and I was like no but I'm going to be like within about the issues that we had during lockdown he's like no it's fine it's normal because we're not the only ones and I was just like okay guys let me tell you at the beginning of lockdown, I was like, okay, you know what? It could work. You know, we will spend the first 21 days of lockdown, which is how it worked in South Africa. If you know, in South Africa, we had the first 21 days of strict lockdown. Nothing was open except essential services, places, and all of that, grocery stores and all of that. So we opted, we're like, okay, let's start the first portion of lockdown at my place, and then we'll do the second portion at his place. Man, everything was in sync. No nali plan. We were going somewhere. It was just like, yeah, yeah, okay, let's do this. Okay, we arranged, you know, organized our finances. How we're going to do this, that, and the other. It was good for the first week or so. Everything was fine. We were, you know, we were blissful. We were happy. It was that thing out of your man. Hey, we, we like literally stuck together for the next 20 days. This should be so much fun and blah, blah, blah. Yet did I not know that how much I, I, I was exposed to how much I value my peace of mind, my quality time by myself, my silence, I just, just, I did not know how much I value it. Yay, 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 did somebody not drive me up the wall? And I felt like, you know what? <laughs> hey, I've done a marang tandy that much. Ah, he's so good. So this is another conversation that I had with another one of my male friends. And we were talking about, he was telling me about his relationship and all of that. And then he also told me about um, how two of his married of his friends who are married were actually going through a divorce and i was like what and he was like you know when speaking to his friends they were saying that you know the lockdown got so bad and you know they were so affected mentally with their relationships with their marriages that they were heading for divorce one friend was only married for like five years and then the other one was married for less than that i don't remember and i was just like yeah eh, wait, nah. oh my god all because of lockdown i'm telling you lockdowns are the relationships mjolos and all of that go to die because you start to see the side of your partner where you're just like, I don't like you, my partner. You start to see a side of your partner where you're just like, I really just, I don't care for you. So with me, how it started is, uh, of course, I care for the guys, the guy guys. And it's sharp. Lockdown didn't kill us. It's right. Case right. 
But the point that I'm trying to make is when it started, started off nice, easy, casual, you know, you know, you cook today, okay, I'm cook today. And it's nice, you know, we're working together, we're busy, me busy, living my best life, living his best life. We're great, we're great. Until a weekend, where I started to see some things around the house that didn't make me happy. You know where I started to see? I am extremely neat. I think you guys have gathered that from my vlogs. I think you've seen it. That I am extremely, I'm uncontrollably neat. Okay? I like to be in a very clean space. I like to, I like dishes. I got dishes on. I'm more on the countertops. You can make your sandwich, but wipe down after you're done. Okay? Or wash the dishes after you're done. Okay? Or do I have to ask you to wash the dishes after I cook? Don't you have, isn't it an unspoken rule? Do we have to have a roster? We go talk here, man. Pega, when you, when I cook, please, please wash the dishes. Why? Why? E e e e. Just normal decency. What is the problem? He yes. gave me. I'm telling him out right now, and he gave me the permission because I feel like lockdown is legit a test of the world. It literally tests you so much. Or Or can I go without you? Like honestly, I I feel like at this point things are sharp, man. If you're someone like me who spends a lot of time by themselves and you spend a lot of time just hanging out with yourself, having fun with yourself, um, doing things by yourself, you know, there's a large part of you that is an individual before, you, that is an I before you, we are a we, you know? And for me, it killed me. Within a week in, I was just like, Okay, but this house is dirty. And then I'll clean the house, clean the house, do my thing, the way you know I do. And then your, your friend will come and he'll leave his shoes and there, just there, the sleep aside there. And then somebody will just walk outside on the grass and then come into the house. And now there's this trail of grass in the house. Bona. Yo, it drove me up the wall. It drove me up the wall. And I was just like, okay, wait, Luna Bona. I understand that women are naturally just typically neater than guys. We are a lot of the time. It that's good. It that's okay. Sure. Until I had to, uh, I, I, I was exposed. And the thing is, if we can, we've been together so long that I'm just like, whoa, wait, wait. God, didn't I see all these things before? What, what is going on? And I feel like lockdown not only did that to us as a couple but it did that to us mentally so they they started we started having those little arguments those little spats let me not call them arguments those spats where i'd be like i also was getting why and so why and so and i started to actually feel myself change and i started to feel myself nag quite a lot and i hated it i hated it and i could realize what it's being hated also on this site yeah, well, I, but the problem with this site is that you can't hate on somebody who's 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 feeding you, okay? You are eating here. I'm cooking here for you, okay? I don't have a problem with making the bed, okay? So I'm doing all these nice things for you. I had every right. I had every right to be like, ah, uh -uh, brah, no, no, what we're not gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna figure out a way and we're gonna help each other out. If we don't help each other out, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I feel like go spend your lockdown there by your place. Me, I spend my lockdown here by my place because I can see which we're going to have a little bit of an issue here. And only then we then decide, okay, we'll sit down, we'll have a proper conversation, we'll have you know, we'll talk about it. If we need to have a roster and whatever, blah blah blah. Yo. And I felt like I was unraveling and I didn't like the fact that I was unraveling. I didn't like the fact that this confined space, us being in the space, looking at each other every single day, just go every day, you in good space, you know, and it's this and I'm getting annoyed by this and that and the other. I just kind of felt like, okay, what, okay, what is, what is God trying to say? Is he trying to say that I gave you this lockdown to spend with this one so that you can see that it, it's not for you? Or am I challenging you guys so that you can see? Because we were within talks about moving into a place together and all of that. And I was just like, really, Jay? It was difficult. I didn't like it. I felt like 
this is this is just doing a lot for me and it's upsetting me in all the ways and i just nah nah it was my cup of tea so eventually when we could move we stuck out the 21 days because we couldn't move at all in that 21 days so we had a conversation we were like okay we need to change this 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 and i stopped with my being nitpicky about everything and he also came to the party with things that i was not that i was upset about so we figured out a way and we're fine see right but just happy as he so when i was thinking about this i actually put up a post on my i'm looking for it now i actually put up a post on my community tab and on youtube i put up a community tab post where i was like guys what's your situation with mjolo during lockdown like what's going on with you guys and what's the status and i'm gonna mention some of your responses on the video today so that's what we're going to do so um rosalina says that it's a joke for long distance relationships where interprovincial provincial it's a joke for long distance relationships where interprovincial traveling is still prohibited i feel like this is probably the worst one. I feel like this is, um, it's, it's really tough for people, like for somebody who's in the Western Cape and it's somebody who's in Joburg. Like, you, you can't. Okay, now you can. There's flights and whatever, but you still need to justify why you'd be leaving the Western Cape and going to Joburg. But I feel like that must be the hardest. Because for me, I'm just someone who typically can't do long distance and if at all I, i'm in Joburg. if someone is in pretoria it's long distance to me I, I, it's between 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes dependent on where in pretoria you're going for me that is too much of a drive it's good of fun and in Ghana northwest yeah fine so already that must have been so difficult for you and then now it's a ban. It's a completely like you can't move. Oh my god, baby girl. I don't even know. Woo. Letty's like Mjola's non existent this side. Baby. I think you're better off. Because Mjola during lockdown is just a mess. It's a whole entire mess. Boosie's like, hey, yo, I started dating someone else during lockdown. Pofu, I was with. Ah! ah. Baby! Hey, yo, I started dating someone else during this lockdown. Pofu, I was still dating my guy, but he was in another city. Now I'm with these two guys in the same city. Abu and Zima. Woo! Wes. Now, Wes, 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 Wes. How do you even manage? Who's got the time or the energy? Somebody please teach me. I became single during lockdown. True colors showed themselves. Ah, we are born. Go on, are born. This is exactly what is happening during lockdown. You know, people, you start seeing things and you, you, go, you start calling people. I was like, everybody for you know? Ah, yo, lockdown is tricky. Lockdown is tricky. It's, it's doing the things for relationships, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so, Tomeka says, I'm single, but during lockdown, my ex sent me a happy belated. Ha! Boy, hey, stranger. Okay. My ex sent me a happy belated birthday message and apologized for not texting me on the actual day. Reason being that he didn't have access to his phone as his girlfriend had his phone in between her boobs all the time. They were in quarantine together. <laughs> oh, let's dissect. So your ex couldn't send you a happy birthday message because his current girlfriend had his phone in between her boobs. Your ex couldn't send you a message. Da -da -da -da. Because current girlfriend, hey, hey. Also, for the mere fact that he can even say that to you outright, direct, was strong, was strong. Hi, Bo. I could feel my armpits burn. Like, who asked him to text me in the first place, honey? What does it even mean? Okay, on Instagram, we're gonna close this off, right? So, on Instagram, um, I got, let me see. Oh, I got quite a few on Instagram that said, on Instagram, I'm not gonna mention the names because on uh instagram it's a hidden thing whereas on youtube it was right on the community tab so i mentioned the names um so one lady said i'd rather be single knowing i'm safe than date someone who breaks me emotionally they all break us when a babes i feel like you are better off i agree with you 110 000 percent you're better off sis 
if you're with you enjoy in lockdown if you're with your person this is the time that they truly reveal who they are and you have the opportunity to judge or do i want to be with this well, one? lockdown doesn't only physically lock you in right but it's 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 mentally it's a mental shutdown as well because you're confined it just messes with you in so many ways it's 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 really terribly scary it's scary um let's see wow there's quite a few my boyfriend and i are celibate okay ho 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 my boyfriend and i are celibate and decided to spend the first days of lockdown together and we're still celibate honey you are 10,000 times stronger than i will ever be in my life and i give you wow 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 Maybe that is another topic that we should have on Candid with Cat celibacy, eh? Like, if you're thinking about topics while you're watching this video, definitely write them in the comment section below so we can talk about them. Because, wow, CC, I was going to say your name, but I don't want to. Wow. Wow. All the power to you. Honestly. But, could never be me. Mina, I'm single. The people I was talking to, I guess we got bored of each other. It, it's fine. Many fish in the sea when a baby. Many. Vega. Move on. But over for five foot. Your lockdown almost messed everything up for me. Did it not almost mess everything up for me too? Yo, I I was I was they say what's in the second katile limudimu. Nesek katile mudimu kere I am enough. Hey, even if I don't see you, my guy, for the next year, I'm okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, lockdown almost had me. Even me, baby girl. Even me. My good friend says, well, you're going to have to summarize my story in one word. And I will. What a fuckery. Moving on. <laughs> That's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Candid with Cat. With a K. And I would love for you guys to let me know what you'd like me to discuss next in the comment section down below. But I'm going to go now. I hope you guys have a great day, evening, whatever time you are watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.